Today we're discussing Theatre of Epic, a brand new role-playing game that emphasizes on theatricality. So, what is Theatre of Epic? Theatre of Epic is a tabletop role-playing game uh, between actors and directors. We're not talking about actual actors and directors, but uh, it just focuses on the concept of the game and how it wants to see players and game masters. So it's a different dynamic between the standard roles of players and game masters. So in this game, game masters are directors and players are actors, which is, of course, very similar to uh, the concept of all RPGs out there. However, there are some important differences. For example, in Theatre of Epic, you get the director who designs a story, but he also designs the characters within that story. It's like when, he, when you write a book and you've got some characters in your head and you want them exactly uh, the way you want them. So the director designs the roles and he hands it over to the actors. So there's no space for customization. It's for people that like a challenge when it comes to role playing and they enjoy a strict um, uh, a strict setting when it comes to their characters. So um, some players may object and request an audition. In that case, an audition takes place and the character and the actor can claim a different role. So that's the first major difference when it comes to the designing of the story. That said, in Theatre of Epic campaigns last for five sessions. This is optional, of course, but it's recommended to stay in that time frame. Why? Because you can have a very clear and beautiful structure of a story within five sessions and the mechanics of the game uh, align with that time frame. So all characters can go up to level five and for every session you uh, finish, you gain one level. So it's a milestone system. And so... Um, Characters begin at level 1 and go up to level 5, one level per session. So the director can design a story that concludes within these five sessions. Each character gets a basic character arc. It's written on their character sheet. That means that you get your character sheet and you see what you're supposed to do within that uh, time frame of the five sessions. For example, it's something like your character uh, must do something very heroic. He must prove uh, himself uh, by the end of the campaign. So it gives you a vague outline. Can be, it can be more specific, uh, but it's, it, it is a general direction. Okay, It's a character arc. Uh, and then, before each session, all characters receive one script. Another vague outline for the specific session and what they have to do uh, during the next session. So that could be either vague or more specific. It could be something like, okay, your character must uh, keep his distance from the other characters in that, ver in that very first session because he carries a weight of shame. He has a strange past. He is not very open. So in that first session, don't be very open, keep to yourself, and uh, keep a distance from the others. This is a mildly specific outline of a script. Uh, it can be very specific, like in the second session, you must approach that specific character and say that secret to them. And maybe that script can include the monologue. Uh, it's up to the director to decide these things. The concept is that 
There are scripts, they are written on the carter sheet. The carters receive them before each session. They prepare, and so they have a vague guideline of what to do in that session. Um, so, the game includes traditional classes and races. You're going to see your favorite classes in there, wizards, paladins, warriors, barbarians, rangers, bards, even psionics and ninjas. Um, so there's a huge variety of powers. The game includes monsters and spells for every character. Uh, it's a full game. You can play um, anything you like. There are many races, there are traditional ones. Um, but another difference uh, between Theater of Epic and other games is the way it can adopt stories from films, games and books and turn them into epic campaigns. So it doesn't matter if you've read the book, if your players read the book, if you love the story, you can take it and the book helps you create an outline based on that story, create your characters with the mechanics of Theatre of Epic based on that story and convert that into an epic campaign. So uh, you can get any story you like, let's say The Lord of the Rings, classic example, you can have your characters, Frodo, Aragorn, Gandalf, everyone, you assign the roles according to your players and then you create the scripts you say, okay, for I'm doing the first session, you're reluctant to, I don't know, take the ring, whatever. Um, Gandalf in the first session, you're approaching Frodo for that particular reason, stuff like that. And then you move on with the next script, and uh, all the characters included will have their scripts and will play along. And you can uh, create variations of the story, you can fit the story within five sessions, you can stretch it if you like, and it's going to be an epic adaptation. It's going to be your unique cover of The Lord of the Rings or any type of story. So you can use this system to adopt favorite stories and play them out. And it creates a unique experience. I guarantee you that. So the mechanics of the game are also very straightforward and simple. Um, basically, you get some basic stats, attack, defense, and health and you can um, have different damage according to your weapons, armor, all the standard stuff is in there. Uh, you've got your wounds. Uh, it's very dramatic how wounds work. Uh, it can be very cinematic. It has to serve the story above else. But most importantly, you don't have modifiers in the game. The only modifiers you can have uh, are given via your role-playing, your performance. And so you can have a plus one, a plus two, a plus three attack if you are good with narration, body language, um, and the voice uh, skills. So, you know, all the actors have to uh, give their best performance to claim these modifiers every time they attempt to attack or make any type of action. So, as you can understand, it's a very intense game and very interactive. You're not just sitting down on a table, you stand up, you move around, you do stuff with your hands and your legs and your body. And so, it's very theatrical, of course. It's like improvise, uh, improvisation in theater. Um, so, it gives another depth to the game, a different sort of energy. Because, of course, in all role playing games, People, you know, others do voices, are good with accents, not everyone's good with everything. But when you have a game that emphasizes on that and gives you mechanics for these things and gives you awards for these things, it takes it to another level. So you, you will see uh, people that are, you know, moderate role players. They're good, but not great, maybe. They become much better. And the good ones they become award-winning actors, to say the least. Anyways, um, so these are the highlights of the game. Of, uh, these are the most important uh, factors of, uh, and features of Theater of Epic. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you support this project. Um, if you have any questions, feel free um, to ask, and I will do my best 
to answer everything the best way I can. So I'll see you out there. Keep those dice rolling and keep playing these great games. See you next time.